it isn't going to be someone else changing your mindset. It's going to be coming from you. Someone can help you, but even with all that help, it's going to still come from you and doing the work. Hello and welcome to the Jake Bowler podcast where I discuss everything health, mindset and fitness related. Thank you for listening to the podcast and applying all the topics into your daily lives and sharing this with your friends and your families. I am so humbled and full of gratitude and I really am so thankful that everyone is actually watching and listening in. To stick with the current tradition, I am going to start the podcast off with a nice little quote that I heard recently that has sort of really resonated with me, that I found really impactful, and I hope that you guys can get something out of it as well. So, when you start feeling like you're not good enough, telling yourself, I'm tired, I deserve some rest, my body is hurting, when these are the thoughts that you start having, it's now time to work in rather than to work out. I hope that resonates with some of you guys. I don't want to go into too much detail with it, but if you want to listen to it again, go back, rewind, and have a listen. It's just all about when you're having those those thoughts and you're not feeling like yourself, It almost, it's sometimes worth working in, working on yourself, working on your own ment- mentality, bringing whatever's unconscious into the conscious mind and trying to be a bit more self-aware of how your feelings and your emotions are affecting you. And that can be, you know, sometimes you have to take some days off, don't go to the gym, work on yourself, work inwards, and then you can start working outwards again. This week's podcast is around mindset and the power of the mind. Sometimes we can't continue to operate at 100% all the time. For those familiar with the book, King, Warrior, Magician, Lover, Rediscovering the Archetypes of the Mature Masculine, we can't simply act as a warrior all the time. What this means is we can't simply be on the grind, always only thinking about our business or our job or making money, whatever it might be for you, all day and never leaving space for the rest of your life, never leaving space for that king archetype and the lover archetype and the magician archetype as well. You can't always be go, 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 okay? Because something will eventually give something will break and you may not like the result of whatever happens when it does break. In this episode, I am going to try and get quite deep and personal um, as I feel like some of you, um, if not all of you, may be able to relate to this story in some way, shape or form, uh, my story and how I managed to cope and get through some of the challenges I faced over the last probably year or two. Earlier in 2022, I went through an extremely sort of tough patch in terms of my mental health, which was a combination of relationships, physical injuries, playing uh, sports and football, and battling with my, my own mindset and beliefs as to what I thought I wanted and needed. Basically, I didn't understand what my purpose was, and I didn't know where I was heading and what I was doing. Throughout 2021, I pretty much struggled quite a bit with knowing what my passion was, knowing what my purpose was. I was unsure of where I wanted my life to go. I had some direction, but it wasn't a clear one. My everything was every time I looked into the future, it wasn't an exact. How do I put it into words? It wasn't exactly where I wanted to be and where I was where I was headed. This led to what some would call hobby or imposter syndrome. Essentially, where you start doing two, three, four, however many different hobbies to try and fill that time. And you end up just spreading yourself too thin. You end up in this constant flow state of being in in warrior. Go, go, go. Not putting putting loved ones first. Not putting relationships first. Your career goes on the back foot. And then finally you end up losing yourself and you're not putting yourself first either. You think by doing all of these different things that you can find fulfillment in yourself and you can actually find purpose, but to let me be completely honest with you, that is not the case. Doing all these different hobbies isn't going to fill any bucket whatsoever. In the end, it, it pretty much just leads to burnout. You sacrifice relationships, you sacrifice friendships, you end up just losing yourself in, in the entire process. At, at, the, at the time, I did think it was the right thing to do. I felt like what I was doing was sort of pushing me in the right direction, but it wasn't. It really wasn't. 
I filled my time with learning to so seeing I started a YouTube channel, um, post on Instagram every second I could I could think of. But I didn't but I didn't ever feel fulfilled in any of that. I didn't have an end goal I was working towards. If any of you are following me now on social media, I'm I'm posting quite regularly on Instagram. I've obviously started this podcast and I've got my own business that I'm sort of trying to run and, and explore as well. But there's an end goal, there's a plan, I know exactly where I'm heading, I know exactly what I'm doing. It's 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 the first time I've done anything like this. It's a business, it's it's gonna be hard, it's gonna be tough, but I have a clear goal versus this time last year, I had no idea. So big change, big mindset shift, but we'll continue going into more of this in, in deeper detail. Then came the start of 2022. I suffered from numerous injuries, including a stress fracture in my foot, hamstring tear, then a groin strain, and then I ended up rupturing my finger. But that was sort of that was that that happened after all this sort of stuff happened anyway. At the time, I just figured, you know, it is what it is. As everyone as everyone says these days, you know, bit of rehab, I'll be fine. I'll get back into it without actually considering the mental impact it was having on myself. I was so unaware of of the emotions that I was feeling and how it was impacting me. I was never in tune with my own unconscious self, essentially. That I was, I was oblivious to how it, how this impact or how this impacted my life outside of just playing football. I'm sure we've all had injuries before. It sets you back on the sidelines. You sit there and watch helplessly. You don't, you don't even want to go to training half the time because who wants to go to training and watch everyone else run around, have fun and play the sport that you love and that you enjoy and you're just sitting there wallowing in self-pity sometimes because you just can't do anything. It just sucks. All of this, not knowing my purpose, constant injuries, not fit, being fulfilled with my job and my career that I was in, all of this ended up impacting the relationships I had in my life. This is where I took the biggest hit, to be honest, and it was almost like a giant wake-up call, kick in the head, punch in the face, hit by a truck, whatever you want to call it. And from all of this, I wasn't putting the important people in my life first, connections, friendships, relationships with people closest to me became to wear thin and my career was also being impacted as well. Eventually the string broke, I came crumbling down and hit rock bottom to be totally honest. Someone close to me once said, sometimes you have to hit rock bottom to be able to appreciate the climb back to the top. And I definitely hit rock bottom at the time. I, I didn't, didn't want to work in the mornings, I didn't want to work out. Gym became more of a therapy session versus something I rewarded my body with and something I wanted to do. I didn't want to be at work and I didn't want to talk to anyone just because stuff that. And not to say that gym can't be a therapy session, it definitely is, it can clear your mind, it can make you feel great, all that good stuff, but it shouldn't be the only reason you go. It shouldn't be the, the pure reason for you going to the gym is to thrash your body and destroy yourself. You should enjoy it as well. But from here, sorry for all the doom and gloom, but from now on, it's going to be more positive. We hit rock bottom, but it's all positive from here, I promise. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. After feeling sorry for myself and giving myself and allowing myself to have that time to grieve, you know, I could, I knew it couldn't stay... Oh, just knocked the microphone. I knew it couldn't stay the way I was. Like, that was just ridiculous. So I reached out to someone called Corey Boutwell. He's on Instagram. If you want to go check him out, Corey Boutwell is his handle, I'm pretty sure. Go check him out. He's a great bloke. Um, but he runs a course called Overcome the Chaos, which is essentially a program designed to help high-performing entrepreneurs, business owners, and even just people struggling to find their purpose. They're in a hole, they're in a rut, they're not too sure what they're doing or where their life's going. They might have succeeded in their business, they're making hundreds of thousands of dollars every year, but that's not their end goal. They're still not feel, being fulfilled, they're not feel, they're filling themselves with purpose, and they're constantly in that warrior mode or that go, go, go situation. And he essentially helps them reach their full potential. He helped me a lot. And um, without going into even more into the course, because I could do an entire series around this stuff, but... Let's not do that. The essence of it was pretty much bringing that unconscious mind to the conscious, becoming more self-aware of your emotions and how you're feeling and what you're doing and why you're doing certain things, understanding your true purpose in life and pretty much how you can get there as well. So it's not all about just finding that purpose, but how you can get to that purpose, how you can make that pur purpose fulfilled and get there. Because having a lack of purpose, to be honest, is what 
spiraled me into the, down out of control and into the position I ended up in. So after doing all of this stuff, I have such a more clear, clear path. I have a goal, I have a passion, I have a purpose for what I'm doing in my life with my online program. This podcast, I'm actually really enjoying. I'm, I'm loving it. And everything else I have in the works as well. I've got plenty of other stuff happening, but sort of longer term goal stuff. But in saying all this, all of that work comes from within. Yes, you can be at rock bottom. Yes, things can be tough. But unless you take the time to look within yourself and either get some help or do the hard work yourself and look within, it can be hard to look within yourself and look on the past, bring the past back up because sometimes we try and hide the past. We try and we lock things down. We, we bury them or bury them in the way. But we want to bring that back up. We want to resurface that stuff and we want to work out you know, why that made us feel that way, how it's still holding us back because, I mean, there's a book called... Uh, I can't remember how it is. I think it's like the mind remembers or the body remembers. Things that happened in the past which you, which you, which you may have forgotten about can actually research can actually hold you back may not resurface but they can hold you back until you actually address the cause and learn to get over whatever it was it isn't going to be someone else changing your mindset it's going to be coming from you someone can help you but even with all that help it's going to still come from you and doing the work and honestly like i said when you do this work within yourself it can be scary it can be difficult but being able to accept all those parts of yourself the good the bad the ugly your heaven your hell is what turned me literally inside out, like changed my life. It's funny, I was actually speaking to a few people I haven't seen in a while and they even told me um, that my persona, my energy just feels completely different to how I was before. And that's such, such a powerful and humbling thing to have them said to me, like it was, it was amazing. Our minds are such a powerful tool, but we can be deceived by the shadows and the dragons within us. It's being able to understand all of that which allows us to consistently overcome this, overcome the chaos within ourselves, slay the dragon, get over your shadows and be the best version of ourselves all the time. It's not about doing it once a week, twice a week, a couple of hours here and there. We want to be able to keep, be the best versions of ourselves all the time, be good leaders to others, be a good partner in a relationship and be able to control the outcome of your day-to-day -day life no matter what the circumstances are. And that is going to wrap up the podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. As usual, if any of this content resonates with you, you find any of it useful and you want to dive deeper into some of these concepts, please do not hesitate to contact me. I am running my exclusive Ascend training program. It's one-on-one -on -one with me. It runs for 12 weeks. I only have a limited number of spots each month because I'm one person. I'm not a god. And if you want to break this cycle of, like, like I've just talked about, that poor mindset, you have no energy in the mornings, you're always needing a personal trainer to give you to give you a course or a, or a program to do, and you've got and you're not pro, or you're not progressing in the gym, then stop waiting and change your life now. Don't wait. You can reach out to me on Instagram. You can just send me a DM. I'm really accessible. I'm also in the process of developing free ebooks explaining some of the basics and core principles around training, nutrition, mindset, philosophy, which will be coming very soon. If you're part of the program already, you have access to all this stuff already, some of it, not all of it, but just the basics of it. Again, if you gained anything, and I mean anything out of this podcast today, if you, you could go and share it on your socials with friends, family, whoever else might find this useful. As always, I appreciate all the support and love from you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.